Get ready for the next battle, it's the King of Iron Fist Tournament, and I'm Leopold the Brave bringing you 107 Tekken facts you should know. Fact number one, the creator of Tekken, Katsuhiro Harada, kept Tekken a secret from his family for 10 years. They only found out when they discovered a picture of him in an advertisement for Tekken 5. According to him, his parents were devastated when they found out. I don't know why though, I think it'd be pretty cool if my kid invented Tekken. Fact number two. Prior to Tekken 4, the creator of Tekken Katsuhiro Harada provided the voice for Yoshimitsu, Martial Law, and Forest Law. Fact number 3. People often draw comparisons to Dragon Ball Z due to the similarities of some of the main characters. Interestingly enough, Kazuya was voiced by Kyle Herbert at one point and Jin was voiced by Brad Swaley, both who have voiced Gohan in different dubs of Dragon Ball Z. Fact number 4. Kyle Herbert, who voiced Kazuya at some time, has also voiced Ryu from Street Fighter. That's interesting. Fact number 5. Tekken is the number one most successful fighting game franchise of all time, beating out other fighting game giants such as Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and even Super Smash Bros. Fact number 6. Tekken holds four places on the top ten best-selling fighting games of all time. Fact number 7. Tekken 3 is the highest game on that list, placed at number 2, right behind Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Sorry Smash, it's gonna take more than one game ahead to beat the Tekken franchise. Fact number 8. Ed Boon, the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, has stated that his favorite fighting game besides his own is in fact Tekken. Fact number 9. Tekken actually translates to Iron Fist. This is very fitting because the tournament that the game is based around is called the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Fact number 10. Some Tekken characters are based on real life people. Martial Law is based on Bruce Lee. Fact number 11. Lei Wu Long is based on Jackie Chan. Fact number 12, there have actually been three movies based on Tekken, an anime one, a live action one, and a CGI one, none of which were good. Fact number 13, the Tekken anime movie actually created a confusion in the plot, saying that Kazuya sold his soul to the devil to get his devil gene powers, making the fans confused at how his mother, Kazumi Mishima, has them. Well, what the anime movie says is not true. First of all, it's a non-canon movie, and second, it has never been stated in any of the games that Kazuya sold his soul to the devil. Fact number 14. What actually happened is that Kazuya had the devil gene his whole life from his mother. Kazuya's rage unlocked its power when he was thrown off a cliff by Heihachi, similar to how Jin unlocked his when he was betrayed by Heihachi in Tekken 3. Fact number 15. At the end of Tekken 2, when Kazuya was thrown into a volcano by Heihachi, he was wearing his purple tuxedo. However, when they recreated the scene again in the beginning of Tekken 4, he was wearing his normal outfit. Heh, <laughs> oops. Fact number 16. In the first Tekken game released in 1994, if you beat the Galaga minigame that appears when the game is starting up, you'll unlock Devil Kazuya. Fact number 17. Tekken's original title was Rave War. Good thing they changed it, right? Number 18. If a memory card shares 100% complete data of Tekken 1, 2, and 3, all three of the game's endings will be viewable in Tekken 3's theater mode. Number 19. Similar to other PlayStation games, Tekken's soundtrack can be listened to by putting the disc in a CD player. Number 20. In Jack's ending of Tekken 1, the machine he is connected to is named System 11. This is a reference to the hardware used in Tekken 1 and 2's arcade machines. Number 21. Before you complain about Kazumi Mishima being just another thrown-in Mishima character, she was actually referenced all the way back in Tekken 2. Her name and Hihachi's name were carved into the floor of the Pagoda Temple stage. I don't have footage, but you can go look for yourself if you don't believe me. Number 22. Tekken 2 is the only game in the franchise where you can choose the music in the intro. Number 23. Katsuhiro Harada's favorite Tekken character is Hihachi. However, sometimes he will say Ganryu because he feels bad that no one likes Ganryu. Number 24. Harada knows Judo, Karate, and Taekwondo. No wonder he created a fighting game. Number 25. On June 4th of 2013, Harada was reported missing for an entire week. To this day, he still refuses to reveal where he went. Number 26. In Tekken 2, if you hold L1 and R1 at the character select, you can play in a first-person mode with a wireframe model, similar to Nintendo's Super Punch-Out. Number 27. There was actually an unauthorized pirated version of Tekken 2 for the... wait for it... NES. Number 28. On Paul and Brian's stage in Tekken 3, graffiti is sprayed on the wall saying Soul Edge, a reference to Soul Calibur. Number 29. The arcade cabinets for Tekken 5 actually featured PlayStation 2 controller ports, so you could choose that instead of playing with the joystick. 
Number 30. Before joining the tournament in Tekken 3, Jin was actually a mechanical engineer at Mishima Polytechnical School. Number 31. It is commonly established that Jin Kazama and Asuka Kazama are cousins. However, the creator Katsuhiro Harada always claims that it's not that simple. Number 32. Ishin Chiba is always the Japanese voice for Jin Kazama, even in the Japanese dub of the live action film in 2010. Number 33. There is a rare Tekken 3 Symphony Orchestra calendar featuring certain characters playing instruments. Number 34. Jin's default stance in Street Fighter Cross Tekken is his Tekken 5 CG pose. Number 35. Hihachi Mishima appears in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS as a Mii Fighter costume. We could get an actual character if you guys would vote. Come on, let's go for Jin. Number 36. Ryu Narushima is the mocap actor for both Jin and Kazuya. Number 37. There have only been four characters who have appeared in every Tekken game. Hihachi, Nina, Paul, and Yoshimitsu. Number 38. Hihachi has the tiger head on the back of his uniform in memory of his wife, Kazumi. Number 39. Speaking of Kazumi, here's another reason to not listen to the anime movie. In the movie, they state Kazumi died giving birth to Kazuya, but at the beginning of the movie, we see a picture of her in a locket holding baby Kazuya. So it was either a mistranslation or lazy writing. Number 40. Both Ling Xiaoyu and Lily are tied for the youngest character in the Tekken series, both being 16 when they first debuted. Number 41. In Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Xiaoyu's name is misspelled twice in the prologue, once as Xiaoyu, and other as Xiaoyu. Number 42. In 2005, Xiaoyu was nominated for an award. The category was for Baddest Good Girl in G4's video game Vixens. Unfortunately, she lost to Final Fantasy X's Riku. What were those voters thinking? Number 43. When Lucky Chloe was revealed for Tekken 7, she got very bad reception, leaving Katsuhiro Harada to prank everyone by making them think he was going to take her out of the US release. This is resulting in everyone who bashed her to apologize and begging for her to be back in the game even though she wasn't going to leave in the first place. Number 44. King is inspired by Frey Tormenta, a Catholic priest who became a pro wrestler to support an orphanage. The Jaguar Mask is inspired from pro wrestler Satoru Sayama, also known as Tiger Mask. Number 45. Yoshimitsu's sword is strong enough to cut stone in half. Number 46. In Tekken 1 and 2, Yoshimitsu is never referred to as a ninja, and his fighting style is the manji-style jujutsu. Number 47. Yoshimitsu is the only character who drastically changes appearance every game. Number 48. Nina Williams had her own spin-off game titled Death by Degrees. Number 49. Harada has stated that Elisa Boskanovich is based on Ashley Williams from the Evil Dead series. Number 50. Contrary to popular belief, Harada has stated that Jempachi does not have the devil gene. Number 51. It is speculated that another character by the name of Unknown also possesses the devil gene because she has the tattoo. However, Kazuya does not have the tattoo and he still has the devil gene. So the mark proves nothing. Number 52. Unlike Kazuya and Kazumi, Jin's skin does not change color when he transforms into his devil form. This is because he's only a half-blood. Number 53. Unknown was planned to be the sister of Jun Kazama, but the idea was scrapped when Tekken Tag Tournament became non-canon. Number 54. Halfway done. Woo! In the Tekken 3 arcade intro, Ogre seems to be holding something. It was speculated to be the head of Jun Kazama, but it was deconfirmed by Harada. He said it was not Jun's head, it was something. Number 55. Harada confirmed that Jun Kazama is not dead, she is just missing. We only keep hearing that she is deceased because that's what Jin Kazama believes. Number 56. Tekken 7's reveal was leaked just hours before its official reveal at EVO. Number 57. Steve Fox's original name was Dean Earwicker. This was changed due to negative feedback from the fans. Number 58. In the Wii U edition of Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Steve Fox's alternate costume is based on Fox McCloud from the Star Fox franchise. Number 59. Lee Chao Lan often has a unicorn on his outfits. This is fitting because the unicorn is seen as a symbol of purity and elegance. Number 60. Asuka Kazama was named after the Asuka River because Katsuhiro Harada's parents live near there. Number 61. In the scenario campaign of Tekken 6, if you go to Asuka's stage with Elisa, she will theorize that Asuka and Jin are brother and sister. Since Elisa is an android and has plenty of information stored in that mind of hers, this theory should not be taken lightly. Number 62. Anna Williams is the only character in Tekken who attacks with her hips. 
Those hips don't lie, and you know what they say, the truth hurts. Ha <laughs> ha, wordplay. Number 63. With the help of a cheat device, the Tekken Force members can be playable in Tekken 3. Number 64. In early versions of the Tekken website, it was stated that Raven was from Canada. This was later changed to him being from an unknown place. Number 65. Tekken 7 is the first time we see Jack with red hair in his default costume. Number 66. When Katarina was first announced for Tekken 7, many, including me, misunderstood her name as Catalina. Number 67. Craig Marduk may be based on pro wrestler Nathan Jones. Both are the same size, Australian, and both have served prison time. Number 68. In Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Slim Bob can be customized to look like Ragnar the Blood Edge from the Blaze Blue series. This is interesting because they both share the same voice actor. Number 69. Lily and Sebastian both make guest appearances and Digimon World redigitize. Number 70. Elisa states that it's not easy to classify King as a human. This is especially interesting because he only speaks in growls and grunts, yet everyone seems to understand what he's saying. Number 71. There is actually an online Namco dating sim with King, Dig Dug, and Pac-Man as teachers. Unfortunately, it's been shut down for a while, so there's no way to play it. Number 72. Tekken and Pokemon have crossed over to create an upcoming fighting game titled Pokken Tournament. Number 73. If you leave Prototype Jack standing still for more than 6 seconds in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, he will shut down and reboot himself. Number 74. Wang Jinrei is the oldest human character in the series, clocking in at 105 years old. Number 75. In Jun Kazama's bio in the Tekken 2 manual, Wang Jinrei's name is misspelled as Jin Frey. Number 76. Despite Panda being female, she cannot be affected by Ana's slap happy, which only affects females. But she can be hurt by Heihachi's headbutt carnival, which only affects males. This is most likely because she is just a palette swap of Kuma, who is a male. Number 77. Heihachi Mishima has gone through a lot of voice actors, but his current Japanese voice actor also provides the voice for Hercule from Dragon Ball Z. Number 78. Ganryu actually shares a Japanese voice actor with Patrick Starr. However, this actor only played Patrick Starr in the movie because in the series, Patrick is voiced by a female. Number 79. Tekken 3 is the only game in the franchise to feature two minigames, Tekken Force and Tekken Ball. Number 80. Tekken is referenced in the Eiffel 65 song, My Console. Number 81. Voice actor Rob Paulson actually voices a character in Tekken. However, he was uncredited. But due to Rob Paulson being my favorite voice actor, I can tell you that this is the character he voices. What did you just say? You heard me, I said this food sucks! You expect us to eat this stuff? What do you mean it sucks? This pepper beef is too damn spicy! Number 82, Tekken 4 is the only game in the franchise with the position change mechanic. Number 83, Tekken 4 is the only game in the franchise where the boss battle takes place in a stage with walls, rather than an infinite stage. Number 84, in Tekken 5, Ana and Nina's endings feature Soul Calibur music. Number 85, Tekken 5 is the only game in the series to feature singing in the intro. Number 86, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 makes a cameo appearance in the anime XL World. Number 87, Katsuhiro Harada has stated that he is against making people pay for things that should already be in the game, so DLC like characters and stages will be free. He'll only charge for little things that don't really matter, such as alternate music. Number 88, in Tekken 7, stages will now alternate music depending on the round. Number 89, in the Tekken anime movie, Jun receives an invitation to the tournament saying welcome, but it was spelled with two L's. Number 90, Tekken Cross Street Fighter is taking a while to get here, but there's already some model work done for Ryu. Number 91, in the PAL version of Tekken Tag Tournament for the PlayStation 2, in the manual there is an error, with a picture of Kazuya Mishima on Jin's page. Number 92, I'm sure you're all aware of Tekken 3D Prime for the Nintendo 3DS, but there's actually a Tekken handheld game before that for the Game Boy Advance, simply titled Tekken Advance. Number 93, Jin was ranked number 4 in Game Informer's Top 10 Best Fighting Game Characters. Number 94. Jin Kazama is the youngest fighter in the series to win a tournament. Number 95. Yoshimitsu's sword is also named Yoshimitsu. Number 96. Yoshimitsu is the first character in the series to speak. He chants a part of the Heart Sutra as part of his Tekken 3 victory pose. Number 97. In September of 2012, Digital Spy held a poll asking for everyone's favorite Tekken character. The winner was Nina Williams. Number 98. The first Tekken game in the franchise is the only one where Nina Williams doesn't wear shoes. Number 99. Nina and Anna are the only two female characters who have lasted since Tekken 2.
Number 100, almost there. In Soul Calibur 2, Hihachi Mishima is a playable character. Number 101, even the creator of Tekken himself, Katsuhiro Harada, has appeared in Soul Calibur. Number 102, despite Street Fighter and Tekken being rivaling franchises, their creators are actually very close friends. Number 103, Harada enjoys tequila. Number 104, there is actually a Galaga and Tekken crossover for mobile devices. Number 105, Tekken Bowl, the minigame from Tekken Tag Tournament, was ported to mobile devices as well. Number 106, Harada has confirmed that Kazumi appears young in Tekken 7 because she was killed at a young age. Number 107, Xiaoyu and Heihachi both cameoed in a tennis game titled Smash Court Tennis Pro Tournament 2. Man, that's a mouthful. But those have been 107 Tekken facts you should know. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Leopold the Brave, out.